Welcome back, art friends. We are gonna do an underwater scene today. Now you are gonna use every color in your house because, well, we're doing an underwater scene. So make sure that you have at least to start out with teal, white, and a dark blue. Don't forget to have a rag and a cup of water handy for cleaning your brushes. Um, I've got my medium flat brush, medium small round brushes with me tonight. And we are gonna get started. So I'm gonna start by making a gigantic smiley face in teal. I'm gonna make this about two inches thick. Falling on through here. From there, I'm gonna wipe my brush off, but not wash it off. And I'm gonna paint everything above that with this really light teal color. Now, to blend my whitish, lightish teal into my teal, I'm gonna start by going left to right with some swooping lines. And then as I come down to my teal, I am going to run my paintbrush along that teal line several times. Maybe pulling some of that teal up into my white and pulling some of that white down into my teal. Take that brush, wipe it off. I don't have to wash it off, but I'm gonna paint everything below this in blue. Again, as I get to that area, I'm gonna take my paintbrush and just kind of go right along this edge, pulling some of that blue up into my teal, pulling some of that teal down into my blue. medium round brush and some white paint I'm gonna go ahead and make some um, some lines that radiate from the central point so I want some sun rays coming down into my water so I'm just making a couple lines that go down and these lines some are gonna be easy to see some are not I'm just gonna pull these lines down All right, we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we are gonna add in some fishes. With a completely dry background, and to be quite honest, it is the next day for me, I am going to move on to my waterscape. That's all my things that are gonna be along the bottom of my water. So I've added quite a few colors. Look at this. Red, pink, orange, yellow, green, purple, and brown to my palette. So let's get started. I am gonna start with um, some browns to make what would be my coral reefs. I'm gonna use my medium flat brush and some brown paint, and I'm just gonna add a couple areas. I'm gonna add kind of a jagged triangle over here. So if you look, it's a triangle shape, but it doesn't exactly go straight down. So I'm just kind of tapping my brush as I pull it down. I'm just gonna fill that space in with brown. I'm gonna add another one right here, and this one's gonna almost kind of jet up from the side and come back down. Now, with the same brush, I'm gonna add a little bit of white paint and maybe even a little bit of yellow paint on it. So white and yellow. And I'm gonna go through and just add some texture to this because these um, coral rocks are, they're pretty sharp. They're not nice and soft. So by just tapping my brush with a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, I can even throw a little bit of um, like a green in there maybe. I'm just tapping it to give it a texture.
So with a nice clean brush, I'm now gonna take a space of yellow and I'm gonna make what almost looks like a bubble right here, okay? And it can go over my, my green or, or my brown, or it can go in front, it's up to me. I'm just gonna make this bubble of yellow and then I'm gonna add white in there. Let's so just kind of lighten it up a little bit at the top. I'm keeping my paint pretty thick on here. And then for my texture, I'm gonna switch over to my medium round brush. And with my medium round brush, I'm gonna make areas of light and areas of dark. So I can take my paintbrush and add some spots of white here, maybe some down here. I'm just gonna give some little areas that are lighter and darker. And then for my darker areas, I can actually add a little bit of brown and yellow to my brush. Kind of tap those on to give it some organic areas of dark. Now I say organic because that means it's not a circle, it's not a rectangle. Um, it's a shape that you cannot name, a shape that you find in nature. That's what organic shapes are. So let's just kind of pull these colors through here. I'm gonna go with my purple, and with my purple, I am going to add purple on one side and white on the other side of my flat brush. And right here, I'm gonna take these colors, I'm just gonna start pulling them down in almost like a fan. You see how I'm kind of fanning them in? So I'm gonna go in layers, kind of turning my brush as I go. If I run out, of course I need to grab some more, but I'm just kind of rotating my brush almost in what looks like a fan formation or you know, rainbow when you call it that wash that brush up I'm gonna go grab my medium round brush again and I'm gonna add some little brown dabs right at the top of where my fans are. So just right at the top of where the fans are, just to kind of darken up some of that space a little bit. I'm only gonna do it at the base because I'm gonna add some white up towards the top. So then at the top of these other ones, I'm just gonna add a little bit of white, not too much. Now, while this base down here dries a little bit, I am gonna add a couple of my um, my greeneries in, and some of them aren't really green, some are red. But with my medium round brush, I'm gonna take some green paint, and I'm going to create some seaweed. So I'm gonna start at the top, and I'm just gonna gently wave it down until I get to the base. And these are gonna be all at different levels, but they're all gonna come together at the same grouping. So my grouping might be from here to here. And if you want it to go down over your green or over your brown or your purple, just pull it down. Now, after I have my first layer on there, I can go in with white and I can follow these exact lines. And what happens is kind of magical. The colors will blend on their own and you'll get some areas that are darker, some areas that are lighter, but it'll go away from being a flat color to a color that has some dimension to it. a small section right over here these same little guys and 
then over here in the corner, I'm gonna do the same type of thing, but I'm gonna use red. So these are gonna actually be long wavy lines, maybe three or four of them. I don't need to go too many. But then on each one of these, there's gonna be these little hands and the hands are gonna be a little bit thicker at the edge and kind of come in to my main branch. So thicker at the edge and kind of pull it in. So I'm setting my brush on, kind of moving it around and then pulling it in. And we're just gonna do these all along this area. And to add our fun little highlight to this, we're gonna actually use pink. So as soon as I have them done, I'm just gonna pull my pink in following those same lines. And if you wanna add a little bit of white to it, and you could do white as well. So a whole bunch of little hands that I set down and pull in. Sit down, pull, and really, these hands can even come off of other ones. So maybe this one looks kind of like it needs a little bit of space up there, drop another one down. same brush I'm gonna add a couple spots of orange and so the orange that I have is a really bright orange so this will be the base of our color and then we're gonna add some white in it so I'm gonna put just a small little bubble right here and this bubble is gonna kind of come down on top of my purple and yellow so I'm gonna put a small little bubble of orange here I'm gonna drop one down here too. So with these bubbles, I'm first going to texture the bubble and then add my plant on it. So with some white paint, I'm just going to go on top of these and add a couple of dots of white paint just to give it some texture. And then I'm gonna zoom you in to show you this one because you're gonna do the same thing to all three. So what these are gonna look like is they're gonna look like little stems with little circles on top. Okay, so this is pretty easy. We're just making little stems with little circles on top. Now, you're gonna put these all over. Some of them, you're only gonna see the front of it, so you don't have to um, draw the stem. You could just draw the circle. So we're gonna make these all over. We're gonna draw little stems kind of going every wonky direction with a circle on the top. Or you can make some ovals on top of your bottom part and then we'll add some white to them. So the white is going to be just a little bit. You can switch your brush if you need to to a smaller brush. You're just gonna kind of outline the edge of that. I might switch to a smaller brush myself. So you're just gonna paint the edges of these white. So it doesn't have to be a full circle, but you're just gonna create something so that it looks as though there is a white space. So I'm gonna put you in speed motion because this is gonna take a while to get these done. Just remember, your job is make a stem with an oval and add some white on the end or just make ovals.
Now I leave you with this ocean background. Watch the rest of the playlist so you can find out which type of fish to add to your background. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends.